question 1 write down a pair of integers whose a part sum is minus 7 b difference is minus 10 c sum is 0 so here is the solution one such pair could be if you take a as minus 10 and b as 3 and then you add them what happens signs are different we subtract them and sign comes of bigger number so subtraction leads to 7 and sign comes of greater number that was here minus 10 b part difference is minus 10 now two numbers can be taken as minus 6 and 4 now we have to subtract it therefore minus sign came here since the signs are same we add them and signs come of negative number only so minus 10 now sum is 0 you can take any number for this case just make the signs opposite if you are taking minus 3 then you have to take plus 3 they cancel out each other but they are simply additive inverse of each other so that was your first question second a write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 b write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5 c write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 so solution is Number first is write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives eight. So let's take two negative integers as minus two and minus ten. Now we are asked to find the difference. So when you subtract it, therefore minus sign came here, and we put minus ten in bracket in order to simplify our calculation. Minus minus is plus. Therefore minus two plus eight. We subtract it because signs are different and sign comes of greater number that was plus. Therefore plus eight comes. Now B part write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus five. Now we are asked to find negative integer and positive integer. So let's take minus six and plus one as two negative integer and positive integer. Now whose sum? When we add it, signs are different. We subtract them actually, and sign comes of greater number. Therefore, six minus one is five, and sign comes of greater number that was minus in this case. Now write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus three. Now we are asked to find the difference that we will subtract, and negative integer is minus one and positive integer is two. So we have to subtract. Therefore minus sign comes, and since the signs are same, we add them up. Therefore three and sign comes of negative number. Therefore minus three. This is your required answer, and that was your question number second. third in a quiz team a scored minus 40 10 0 and team b scored 10 0 and minus 40 in three successive rounds which team scored more can we say that we can add integers in any order well let's do it so first of all which team scored more let's add them up so minus 40 plus 10 signs are different therefore we subtract them and sign comes of greater number and zero doesn't matter okay therefore minus 30 is your answer that is total score of team a zero doesn't matter again now if you see for the team b scores are same that is 10 and minus 40 again the same thing minus 30 comes so scores of both the teams are same can we say that we can add integers in any order well yes we can say why because we have studied in this chapter that addition is commutative for integers for example if you swap minus 40 and 10 as it was in the case of here in general for any two integers a and b we can say that a plus b equal to b plus a so it is commutative commutative is just changing their positions so here a was 40 b was 10 there b was 10 and a was minus 40 therefore with the addition addition is commutative for integers fourth fill in the blanks to make the following statements true so first part is as you can see here this number is just commuting so we will use commutative property because commutative over addition integers are commutative over addition therefore we will just use minus 5 because they are reversing so here we are actually not calculating we are using properties this has to be kept in mind now here what you see in left hand side is minus 53 what should be added to it 
so we get the same number while well, we have studied in this chapter that it is additive identity so that is zero for every integer now here what we are getting we are getting zero on right hand side that means we have to use additive inverse and additive inverse is always opposite to that given number now here 13 plus minus 12 so fair pairing is done so you can see associative property over addition first here last two pairs are arranged here first two pairs are arranged so only thing left here is 7 that is minus 7 to be very precise so this is just we are using the properties not doing actual calculation now here you can see in first left hand side the last two integers are bracketed whereas right hand side first two now minus 3 is left therefore we will use minus 3 because integers are associative over addition that was your last question.